Hi, welcome back to Engine Shop Joe. And tonight we're going to talk about a part on an engine. It's on the heavy duty engine and the mid range. Same part, same part numbers. And uh, this is the after treatment fuel control block. So that would be the block that sends fuel over to that injector bolted behind the turbo. And the valve has uh, three plug-ins, two are on-off solenoids, and one is a pressure sensor. The solenoids are the exact same part number, so you can swap them back and forth. If you have a problem, you're trying to figure out if it's that or the wiring. I've done that before. I've swapped them uh, to, to check that out. The valves uh, screw into an aluminum block. The block is drilled appropriately, which we'll see in a minute. And on an H71, how much pressure would be in that block? And on a 2250 QSX or QSL, how much pressure would be in that block? Call it homework. You'll have to look it up. So uh, let's go on now and take a look at the block a little bit closer up and talk about it. Here's our block and you can see the orientation of the two check valves. They're the ones that have the black connector and the gray connector is your fuel pressure. And this block can fail internally. Uh, I don't know if, they cr if it cracks or, or what happens, but uh, if you start having faults on fuel pressure inside of this, it can be the block. Now we're going to see in a second that there's a very fine, it's actually an injector inlet screen on the inlet. So if that got a bunch of dirt in it, that could also be your problem with low fuel pressure. So there's a tip for you. Instead of going out and buying a block, take a look at that screen, make sure it's open. So we'll take a look at that in a second. And there's the inlet, and there you can see it down inside that uh, almost kind of looks cloudy. That's a very, very fine screen and it snaps in there it's held in by a, a C ring and uh, it can plug up with dirt and then you'll have fault codes for low fuel pressure in that valve so keep that in the back of your head this is our dump back to return and you can see that small hole and you can see the valve in there and I think the reason the holes small like that is because uh, the that's so the valve can control the fuel flow through there. And here is your uh, fuel pressure sensor. It's a three pin. I believe it's five volt and ground and then signal. And then your uh, valve is just a two pin, a supply and return. And this is a pulse with circuit, so you don't measure an on off voltage, uh, but it just is open and shut. They don't throttle it partially closed, partially open. I think they do the pulse width because they can use smaller gauge wire and and drive a little more current when they, when they pulse it. Over on the left, you see the question mark on the ECM. I want you to figure out what platform ECM that is. So it's an 870, 871. It's a 2250, 2350, 2450. You should know that by looking if you've gone through my ECM platform uh, videos. Okay, uh, that white arrow up in the middle is pointing to the after treatment connector. Basically, a, I call it a large extension cord harness. Goes from there back to wherever the after treatment is. Typically in that plug, there'll be, um, on, the, on the very first engines, there was quite a few wires, maybe about 10. But on all the stuff that has uh, modules in the back. They're just a hot of ground and, and data plus, data minus in that, in that plug. And that stub, uh, a stub is a little short piece of harness that a plug hangs off of or a connector. So that stub is very close to the ECM plug. So it'll be the biggest one too. So when you see that, uh, that's what that is. Okay, so let's take a look at our valve. Uh, first, let's start with the two number ones. I have two number ones on there because those are both the same part number. Those are the open and closed valves. They do the same thing. 
The one on the bottom on the left is the inlet and the one on the top in the back is the dump. And then you see your fuel pressure sensor, which is number two. And again, the way this functions is when the ECM wants to send fuel over to the injector and that line runs behind the head, the solid pink arrow on the back, and over to the injector on the turbo, what happens is the ECM will turn on valve number one and keep it open. And valve number, number one on top is kept closed. And the pressure builds in the block and then the ECM will turn the injector on in the back of the turbo for a sh very short period of time, somewhere probably less than a second or two, uh, enough to get the air out of that line so that it's solid fuel going to the turbo. And then that valve stays pressurized and the ECM will just shut the injector on the back of the turbo off or on when it's doing its thing with the after treatment to heat the catalyst. And then when it's all done, it shuts the injector and it will open the dump on that valve. And then it opens the injector and then it closes everything. And there's no pressure in the valve block and the injectors, uh, they have residual fuel in them, but the ECM will leave them open so that they can kind of bleed out. There's not... Remember, that's that's a, a orifice and a pinnel in there. So it, they keep the fuel away from the tip. It's back inside the injector. And that's why that injector is water cooled, so that that fuel doesn't carbonize in there and plug that injector up. Thanks for joining me on Engine Shop Joe. And that was a CM2250 ECM you were looking at. And I'll see you next time.